What is going down guys? Today we're talking about why I switched from Canon to Nikon and went from eight lenses to three. Let's get started. As a wedding photographer, the day is packed with a lot of action. You know, when you're running out from the getting ready photos to the ceremony, from walking down the aisle to the first kiss, there's a lot going on and having time to switch lenses can be time consuming during the day. So when I was shooting Canon, I had eight lenses. I had a 24 to 105, I had a 50, I had a 35, I had an 85, I had a 7200 2.8 IS, I had a fisheye lens, and I'm sure I had a couple other lenses. I, I kind of forget them all because it's been a while, but it was bananas. I had so many lenses in my bag and I felt that every other moment I was switching lenses all throughout the day unpurposely. And I wasn't a true master of one to two lenses. So when I switched to Nikon, this is what I did. I only bought three lenses and out of those three, I only shoot with two. So right now, the first lens I have right here is the Nikon 135 F2. This lens is one of their sharpest lenses that they have, and this is my new telephoto lens. Now before you, you comment down below, Jeremy, that's technically not a telephoto lens. It's less than 200 millimeters. That's, you're fake, you're fake. Well, let me tell you what. The 7200 is about this big. It is three times as heavy and way bigger. However, I can get a very similar killer compression with this lens without having to carry something that's huge. Now, I'm really taking a minimalistic feel to how many lenses and gear I'm bringing to the wedding day. I really wanna be productive on the wedding day so I can master three lenses rather than eight and not be a true master of all of them. Now, this is my new telephoto lens and it's great for images when I'm doing this. Usually I'll pop this on for candids, the entire ceremony while I have another camera on me. That's the 23 millimeter, which it's 12 to 35. Now the second lens I use all the time is this. So this is the Nikkor series Nikon 1.4 50mm. Now every photographer has this lens, however, it's still the bomb.com. Come on guys, it creates amazing bokeh. This is an amazing portrait lens. So when I'm doing portraits of the couple of just them two, or if it's really low light and I'm doing like, you know, like uh, they're coming out with all the candles and stuff for, or if it's really dark at night and we're doing any night photos or really where I want the ambience of the room with natural light, I'll bring up this lens. Um, of course, I don't have to tell you guys this lens is amazing because as a photographer, you're bombarded with amazing videos talking about why this lens is killer. So I'm just gonna skip talking about it. So that is the middle lens. Now you're probably asking Jeremy, why don't you have any zoom lens? So I have the Tamron 24 to 70 and this bad boy gets used 5% of the day on a wedding day. I rarely use this lens. Usually I'll use this lens for first dances. Um, I'll use it for big wide shots, maybe for family portraits, um, but usually I can get away using my 50 if there's enough room. And then maybe for, depending on the aisle of the walking down shot, uh, then I'll pop this on so I can get really wide and then get close up while they're walking down the aisle so I can switch. And then I'll put my 135 on for the entire ceremony and then right before the ceremony ends, I'll switch this back on. However, as a wedding photographer, there's a lot going on. There's a lot of versatility going on. So to have a lens that you can quickly throw on and get really wide and get really close up, you need this in your bag. However, um, you can get away not bringing it to weddings. I've shot a couple weddings down in the States or down South where um, I would actually not bring this at all. And most destination wedding photographers only bring versatile lens because you want to cover as many focal lengths as possible. But I'm kind of the opposite. I'd rather just bring my 50 and 135 and just shoot on those two lenses all day rather than uh, bring this lens. Because this is not the lens I use to capture the photos for my style and my brand. These two lenses are really the only two lenses I use to capture photos that really get the feel of what my couples are looking for and why my brand is why it is. Because um, since I only shoot these two lenses, I've really mastered them. I know the compression, I know what aperture to use to get the certain look I want. I know how close I want to get up and like, I, you start to notice that when you shoot on the same two lenses for all your photo shoots. Now, when I was shooting Canon, like before, I would shoot you know, the first part of the ceremony on an 85 and then I'd switch to 7200 and then I'd go to the 24 to 105 and you're not becoming a master of any of those lenses. It's all over the place and you're carrying a bunch of gear in your bag and it's a lot heavier and it's more hectic and it, it bogs up your brain when you really just need to focus on capturing beautiful memories for those couples that you're being a part of. Now, I love gear like the next photographer. I love it. Um, but 
that comes to a point that you just need to master a couple lenses and just get to the point. You're, you're an amazing wedding photographer and you need to be the best photographer ever. So um, like I did, I'm kind of getting bored of the 50 millimeter. I think uh, I want to change it up. So I'm, I might be experimenting with a different lens to replace my 50, maybe even a 35 Sigma Art. All right, photographers, I hope you had a great day. Um, if you have any questions at all, feel free to ask them below. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's why I switched from Canon to Nikon from eight lenses to three, but really two because I don't really use the third one. But have a great day, guys. Talk to you in the next one.